morning. I'd like to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hills in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Our morning worship service. We're glad that you made it a part, whether you're here in person or in virtual land. At this time, we're going to open with our devotional period. We're going to open with uh, the scripture reading, then we have a song, and then we have a prayer. from the book of Psalms. Psalm number 96. Psalms number 96. Under the heading of singing to the Lord a new song. Amen. And when you find it, if you're able to stand for the reading of God's word, as I read aloud. And it reads, O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathens, his wonder among all people. For the Lord is great, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, small g. For all the small g gods of the nation are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindred of the people, Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Amen. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his court. Yes. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Yes. Fear before him all the earth. Uh -huh. Say among the heathens that the Lord reigns. The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Amen. Let the heavens rejoice, Amen. and let the earth be glad. Amen. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Mm -hmm. Let the field be joyful, yeah. and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord, for he cometh, yeah. for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Amen. Amen. May God bless the Holy Man reading of his word. You may be seated. Glory, glory, oh, hallelujah, oh, this I
morning, church. Good morning. This is the day that's all. That's all. Yeah. I heard Brother Karen say this morning, it's about 30,000 promises yes. that God has made. Uh -huh. I got one for you. All right, Seek now. ye first all right. the kingdom of heaven. Right, you have these little things. This is the money you want in your yes, pocket, all. your bills, all right? right? The little car going down the road, yes, up and down, and how we'll work it out. Yes. Yeah. Seek ye yeah. first yeah. the kingdom of heaven. If you don't do nothing else, uh -huh. do that. Yeah. Bring your children where they may seek ye first yeah. the kingdom of heaven. We serve a good God, y'all. Yes, do. Amen. Everybody bow your heads this morning. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we come this morning to say thank you. Lord, we truly, truly, truly thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that before the foundation of earth, you knew who we were. You knew that we was going to be saved. Lord, yes. we come calling on you, Lord, to save us from our sins. We come asking for forgiveness for our sins. Lord, we come thanking you for your son, Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. That died on that old rugged cross. But didn't stay there. Uh-huh. He got up. Got up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you for her. being able yes, Lord. to wake up in our right mind. Yes, thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for yes. a roof on my head. Thank you. thank you. Lord, we thank you for clothes on our back. Yes, Lord. Shoes on our feet. We might not have a whole lot of money, but Lord, we thank you for the money that we do have. Amen. Lord, we thank you that you will continue to go up and down the highways and byways of life with us, Lord. We thank you for traveling grace. Lord, we thank you this morning for being better to us than we have ever been to ourselves. Yes, Lord. Lord, we come thanking you because you are our God. Lord, this morning we want to acknowledge you. We want to praise you. We yes. want to uplift you. We want to thank you for thank being you. our God. We want to say hallelujah, hallelujah. to your holy name yes. this morning. Lord, we are thanking you for a place to come and worship you. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for continuing to keep the lights on. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you for continuing to keep the van running. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you for every visit that, that you keep sending our way. Lord, yes, we Lord. want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. For being good to us. Lord, yes, Lord. Pray this morning for mm. those less fortunate. Yes, Lord. They call it Skid Row. Mm. Lord, we pray this morning that somehow, some way, somebody stop by and tell them about Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray that somebody stop by and give them a pep in hand. Lord, we pray that they start to stop by and somebody stop by and give them a little something to eat this morning. Or somebody stop by this morning and, and give them a little shelter this morning. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we are praying for those in hospital. Yes, Lord. And we know there are many. Oh, Lord, we pray that you heal somebody's body this morning. They may get up and say, I yield. What must I do to be saved? Yes, Lord. Lord, so we, we pray for blessings all around every hospital that it is. Lord, Lord we're praying this morning for wars and rumors of war. Lord, and we know it's going on. Lord, so we pray that you soften somebody's heart this morning, Lord, that they will stop the violence. Yes, Lord. Lord, we're praying for the saved and the unsaved this morning. Lord, we pray for the saved. Lord, I pray that we all get a better relationship with you today. Lord, we pray that there's something said and there's something done that we can go out and tell a dying world what thus said the Lord. Lord, we're praying for the unsaved. That you put them in our, put them in our path, Lord, that we can tell them about the goodness of Jesus. Lord, that they may want to come out of the darkness and come into your marvelous light today. Oh, Lord, you're so worthy. So we thank you. Well, Lord, there are people incarcerated this morning. Yes, Lord. Some are there for the deeds that they have done, and some are there because they have made mistakes. Lord, we pray this morning that somebody be set free. Yes. Lord, the song said we was once blind. But, Lord, this morning we thank you that we can see. We can see that, Lord, it was you from the rock of our craters that fed us. Lord, it was you that, that woke us up. Lord, it was you that fed us. Lord, it was you that gave us every footstep that we got. Lord, it was you that let us be able to see this morning. Lord, we want you to know. We know that it was you. Yes, Lord. Mama might have fed us, uh -huh. but it was you that provided. 
Lord, the man might have built our house, but it was you that provided. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord. So it was all Thank about God. you. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, I pray this morning that we all recognize and realize who you are. Uh -huh. So this morning, Lord, we want to praise you for just who you are. God, yes, Lord. all by your Thank you, Lord. Lord, you're worthy of this morning. Worthy. Lord, we're praying for the choir this morning. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray that they, as they sing, Lord, they sing aloud, Lord, praises and hallelujah to your holy name this morning. Lord, we continue to pray for our pastor yes, and our social pastor right here at First Baptist of Washington. Yes, Lord. Lord, we continue to pray for James. Yes. I mean, he can come some this yes, morning. Lord, we pray to heal his body that he can come and continue to worship and praise your holy name. Lord, we're praying all around for blessings. Yes, Lord. Special prayer for the church. Yes, Lord. I pray this morning, if you listen to this broadcast, yes, Lord. if you want to do something good for your children, bring them to the Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. If you want to do something good with your children, if you can't bring them to the Lord, send them to the Lord. <laughs> Lord, we love you, yes, and we thank you for everyone that's here. And Lord, we pray that you bless Please, Lord. this building all around. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Man, we want to thank Deacon Donna Smith for that scripture reading out of the book of Psalms and Deacon uh, Roger McCall for that final prayer. Amen. And it's time to pray on the call and sing praises on the God.
feel as if, amen, with the words and the message that I'm preaching going into one ear out the other. Yes. And then when I look at your life and then some of the lives that I see seem like there's no difference in your life. Amen. I want to say I don't want to preach no more, but there's five. Shut up in my mouth. Yes. 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 Won't let me. Yes. Amen. Leave it alone. Amen. Yes. Yes. Jeremiah, notice what he says in Jeremiah 18. He started in verse 1. Notice what he says. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise, go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, can I do with you as this potter says the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hands, O house of Israel. Amen, somebody. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. I'm talking about the potter and the clay. All right. All right. The potter and the clay. And the, clay. Right. the potter and the clay represents God and his people. Mm -hmm. Christians are God's vessels molded by him to contain treasures of the gospel. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. According to the first Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 it says we have this treasure in earthen vessels uh -huh. that the excellency of power may be of God and not of us uh -huh. there's dunamis power been housed inside of you Amen. for the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world uh -huh. the power is not of you though the power is of God that power that he gives us, that gives us the power to abstain from the sin and the things that are happening in the world. Right. He gives us this power so that we can know the difference between right and wrong. Yeah. He gives us the gift of discernment so that we can discern what's going on all around us. Right. It's the power of God investing in us, but it's not of us, but it is of God. Amen. God who is the part have the right to mold us. Amen. Has the right to shape us. Amen. Into what he wants us. Amen. Us to be. Uh -huh. For we are his clay. And we have been brought with a price. And that price was the shedding. Of Jesus. Amen. Blood. Uh -huh. In Isaiah chapter 64. Verse 8. It confirms that God is. The part. It said but now O Lord. Thou art. Our father. Uh -huh. We are the clay. Uh -huh. And thou art our father. Mm -hmm. And we are all, we all are the works of thy hands. Amen. In the beginning, amen, God stepped out into nothing, right. spoke a word, and something began to happen. Right. He caused the water from the dry land. He began to speak things into existence. Yeah. Every creeping thing that was made, God called it into existence. After he had made everything, he with his gentle hand, he reached out in the dust of the earth and began form, he formed man from the dust of the earth. And with his gentle hand, he reached out from heaven and blew into man's nostril and man became a living soul. Do you not know that while he was forming man from the dust of the earth, that Satan was there too? Yeah. Watching as God took the hands, reached down and formed man and blew into man's nostril, and man became <laughs> Satan set out to destroy the creative being that God has created yeah. Yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. And since that time, he has been trying to destroy. For Jesus said, He come to kill the strong. Uh -huh. Amen. Those of us who are walking, amen, and trying to live. By faith. Amen. Yeah. He has that right to do with us 
what he desires to do with us. Amen. You see, the prophet Jeremiah was sent to preach to a nation of Israel because of their transgressions. Amen. Instead of Israel fulfilling the creative purpose to worship and to share them with the world about their God, they chose the way of the world. All, right. and all of its lust and all of its pride, they chose to separate themselves and not share the goodness of God. Amen. So God sent his word to Jeremiah in verse 1, telling him to rise up and go down to the potter's house. And there God said he will cause Jeremiah to hear the word of the Lord. Uh -huh. Sometimes we got to get up early in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. To hear from the Lord. Yes. I know how comfortable it may be to lie down in bed. Amen. Sometimes we got to get up early in the morning to hear from the Lord. Yes. Jeremiah was obedient to the God's command. Amen. According to verse 3, he went down to the potter's house and he looked into the potter's house and he saw that the potter brought a work on the wheel. Yes. The wheel represents our life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is spun swiftly by the potter's hands. And God alone controlled the speed of life. Yeah. Some Christians, amen, in this world, amen, in this unbelieving world, amen, their life leaves them quickly. Right. Amen. Some have, amen, have come into this world, amen, and gone tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Amen, somebody. Amen. This world that we're living in is constantly changing day yeah. by day. Amen. And because the world is changing day by day, we got people changing every day. Right. 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 Amen, somebody. Right. The world spins, amen, so quickly, but the world is spinning and it's his hands. He controls all things. Right. Amen, somebody. Right. He has never relinquished his control all right. over all humanity. Right. 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 You see, God's hands is where of the ordinary becomes the extraordinary. Uh -huh. And when we are in God's hands, only God can detect every flaw uh -huh. in our body. Uh -huh. Every lump, every mark uh -huh. that's in our body, God can detect it in our life. Uh -huh. Aren't you glad that he understands, that he knows, amen, every hair on our head? He knows what we're capable of doing. He knows how much we can bear. I'm, uh -huh. I'm glad of that. Because there are times I don't know how much Come on. I can bear. Come on, hey. The pressures of life uh -huh. begin to pressure us down so much. We bend, but we don't break. Uh -huh. All right. All right. All right. God loves us so much. He allows us to go through some things. Amen. Because he allows us to go through some things. Amen. We got to appreciate that he's a God and God all by him. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. Notice verse 4 with me. And the vessel that God made of clay was marred uh -huh. in the hands of the potter. All right. All right. All right. God is the one that shapes and molds I'm our lives. Yes, right. So that the meaning of life can bring purpose in our life. Yes, and when our life is not bringing purpose to God, he can detect when our life is flawed. Uh -huh. When we're not living according to God's life, amen. Up. When we're not letting the lights shine in our life, amen. amen. He can detect flaw in our life. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said God made it over again oh. until it was good to the palm. All right. You see, when the believer's life is marked by worldly pressure, uh -huh. and he and she life do not fit well in God's hands. He allows the pressures of life to press them down in order to start them over again. Amen. When we first studied, amen, looked at the potter and the clay, we determined that the potter hands, amen, when he had to mar, amen, the clay back together, that he was chastising the clay. But that's not true. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because in, in the part of hand, in pottery, amen, when they're making the clay, amen, when there's a mar in the clay, he add a little water to the clay to soften the clay so that the marred position in the clay can be smoothed out. Amen. Amen. The clay never leaves the potter's hand. The clay is always 
on the wheel. Uh -huh. And the wheel is spinning in the potter's hand. Uh -huh. We have been taught in the past that when, you, when the mar and when our body is marred, that God chastises us. Uh -huh. But that's not true. Uh -huh. He makes us over again. He uh -huh. starts us over again. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. The prodigal son well. asked for his inheritance yes. uh -huh. before time. All right. All right. His father gave the prodigal son his inheritance. Yes. The prodigal son left to a far country. Uh -huh. He had to get away as far away from his father uh -huh. as he could go. Uh -huh. Got away from his father and started having a mighty good time. Back in my day, he probably went down on Night Street, having a mighty good time, spending money, setting it up, one round after another. Amen. The drinks on me. The product was having a mighty good time. But when he reached in his pocket, he had two nickels to rub the cover. He found himself broke down on Night Street. And the Bible said a storm came to rise. And the part of son found that he didn't have no money in his pocket. Had no money, he didn't have no freedom. His life had been marred with good times and, and, and sisters living. Found him a job working in a pig farm. Amen. Feeding pigs. Got so hungry down on the pig farm that he began to eat the hush that the pig was eating. Amen. And God allowed him to see the hush that the pig was eating. And when he saw that the pig was eating hush, he remembered his father. He said, there are servants I got at home, eating better than I got. Got more bread on the table than I got. God turned his life around, allowed his life to be marred. So they can come to himself. Yeah. And when he came to himself, I'm going back home. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. He left home telling God, telling his father, give me. Yeah. But he went back home asking his father, make me. Yeah. Make me one of your servants. Yeah. God can take my mom life. Yeah. Change our lives. Yeah. Put us in some situations. Yeah. Uh, Amen. That we want God to turn our yeah. life all around. I've been down in some situation. I've been down with my back being against the wall. He allowed me to go as far as I wanted to go. But when the rope got to the tight, amen, he yanked me back in. And when he yanked me back in, I said, Lord, go what you have. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The mod. Look at the mod. He's in his hands. He can detect every flaw. In our life. When we ain't doing right, he can detect. Oh, yeah, yeah. When we ain't doing right. Amen. Oh, yeah. He make us over again. Amen. As good to the pot. Not good to the world, but as good to the pot. God wanna make you over again. He can put you in some extreme situations to make you over. Make you over again. Yeah. You got to be willing to allow him to yeah. make you over again. Amen. Amen. That is why God is the potter. Yeah. And we are the clay. Yeah. Amen. Notice, the potter has a perfect plan uh -huh. for the clay. Yeah. Because God sees and he knows the finished product. Whenever the potter in pottery, uh -huh. he knows exactly what he's going to scope. As he gets the clay and put it on the spinning wheel, right. in his mind he knows what he wants to create. Right. God knew when you came into the world what he wanted to create right. in right. you. Amen. Some of us have walked away from the purpose and the plan that God had oh. for you and your life. Amen. 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 Jeremiah 29 and 11. Amen. Notice what it says. For this is God talking. He says, For well, I know the thoughts. That I think towards you. Yeah, yeah. This is God talking. Uh -huh. He says, says the Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. Thoughts of peace uh -huh. and not of evil. Uh -huh. To give you an expected end. All right. He knows the end. He knows your end from the beginning. Right. He has an expected end for all the believers yeah. who have come to trust and believe in God. Uh -huh. 
Amen, somebody. He wants you to live a life of peace. Amen. Not, not a life, amen, of ups and downs, amen, a life of confusion. He wants you to live a life of peace. That kind of peace that passes all understanding. I mean, when you when you seem like you're crying, people don't understand when you're crying, you're just happy. Amen, somebody. And when, when you should be sad, you're praising God. Amen. In this world, people don't understand the things about your life. Amen, somebody. Amen. They be asking, you should be all tore up from the flow up. Amen. You tell them, why should I be tore up from the flow up? Because I'm in the part of that. And as long as I'm in the part of that, everything is going to work out well. Don't you know all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord? That are called according to good purpose? It might not feel good going through it. Come on with it. It's going to turn out for you good. It will. It will. You gotta let go and let God have it. After after Jeremiah had was was obedient to God, he went down to the Potter's house. He didn't go down there to preach. He went down there to observe. He got the message. He understood. Amen. So when he understood, the word of God came back to him. But it came back to him in a question, according to verse six. Notice what he said in verse 6. This is the question. O house of Israel, mm -hmm. O Washington Hills, mm -hmm. right. cannot I do with you as this pot, right. says the Lord? Right. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, mm -hmm. so are you in my hands, right. O house of Israel. Right. Washington Hills, do you know God is in control in your life? Yes. Yes. We got this narrative. Theologians. They constantly say God do not interfere with our lives. That's a lie. God guides us every step of the way. That's why He gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us. I'm always yes, don't you need to, at their time you hear a little steel voice telling you not to go that way? Do you not hear a little steel voice saying you shouldn't have said that? Amen, somebody. He's guiding us every step of the way. When we came to the Lord, He did not leave us but naked in this world. Amen. When we came into this world, He sent down the Holy Spirit to help guide us into this world. Without His guidance, we'd be lost. Without a road map, how to get back to the kingdom of heaven. Amen. He gave us the Holy Spirit to help guide us into this world. Jeremiah had that opportunity. You got that opportunity. Amen. He had the opportunity to see how untestable, amen, the potter authority over the clay. Mm -hmm. He saw how in control the potter had over the clay. Uh -huh. And when he saw how much control the potter had over the clay, he understood how much control God had over humanity's life. Amen. amen. We came into this world. Amen. He allowed us to come into this world. We came in with nothing. And we're going to leave him with nothing. But while we in between of coming in and going out, he gives us stuff. Yeah. So much stuff yeah. that we got to have bins, amen. We have to have storage facility, amen, to put the stuff that we got in the storage facility. Yeah. Amen. I remember a time I didn't have the one pair of shoes. Right. Amen. They was insurance. They was insurance shoes. Amen. We didn't like them shoes. Amen. I used to hide them on Sunday because I didn't want to wait. Amen. Amen. You laugh now. Amen. Amen. But mom was doing the best she could do. Amen. She put me on those shoes. She took me to church. Amen. I remember Easter, one Easter morning, she bought me a brand new blue suit. I mean, it was scabby. It was pudding. Amen. But here's the thing. Yeah, here's the thing. When she put it on me, amen, and dad come in and looked at me and said, boy, you look pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you my son? Yeah. What dad has said to me made a whole lot of difference in my life. Yeah. Amen. If dad had said, boy, you still look, don't look good. Even in a blue suit, you don't look good. But dad has said, you look good yeah. in a blue suit. Yeah. Amen. I didn't know, amen, that she didn't buy, amen, from Sears and Robot. 
Amen. I didn't know, amen, that she didn't go, amen, to penis to buy my suit. I didn't know that the suit that she gave me was a borrowed suit, amen, from somebody else's house. But I wore that borrowed suit just like it was a brand new suit. You couldn't tell me nothing, amen, because I had on a brand new some children today don't yeah. appreciate having yeah. stuff. Amen. 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 Name brand tennis shoes. Yeah. Name brand jeans. Yeah. Can I talk about the Marcus this morning yeah. just for a minute? Yeah. Amen. He want me to go buy him some regular jeans. Regular jeans. Yeah. Amen. I took, took him to Navy. Whatever that place in the old Navy. Yeah. Little jeans up there. He said, Papa, ain't no holes in these jeans. <laughs> Come on out, baby. I go home and cut up the Jesus. Amen. Amen. What God is telling us this morning, He's the pot. We are the clay. We can depend and trust in the pot. The pot will know more about us than we know about ourselves. I know times have been rough in our life, but God is in control of our life. Sometimes He lets storm wind blow on our life. So we can get back on control. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. So you got to know God is, if God is in control and, and a storm rises in your life, you got to know if he, if he allowed the storm to come, Amen, he's going to allow me to go through the storm. Amen. 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 We just worry about getting to the other side. Amen. And on the other side, amen, is where the sun is going to be shining. Amen. Come here, Peter. Peter, with Peter and the boys are on the boat. Jesus had told him to go to the other side. While he went up in the high mountains to pray. Yeah. Don't you know God, Jesus knows what was going to happen yeah. when he put him in the boat? Yeah. The moment he got in the boat, headed for the other side, the Bible said a storm came. Yeah. And when the storm came, they began to try to roll. Yeah. They had never experienced the kind of storm before. Huh? Amen. They were rocking and reeling in the boat trying to get to the other side. And all of a sudden, they saw Jesus. Yeah. Jesus walking on the yeah. same storm that was causing the yeah. with him on the boat. Yeah. I come to tell somebody yeah. that day that God can walk on every storm. Yeah. There's no circumstances in your life that God can't do. Yeah. Yeah. walking on the storm. Yeah. Amen, Sister Stephen. He came walking on the water, Sister Stephen. One step after the other. And when they saw this figure of a person walking on the water, they looked at him and said, it must be a spirit. And they cried out, who is it? And Jesus said, it is I. And Peter hollered, if it's you, Lord, bid me the cup. Yes, Every time Jesus would tell you, bid you the cup. Come on into the storm. If you're in a storm, yeah. if I'm in the storm with you. He got out of the boat. Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. He was all right in the boat. But when he asked Jesus, can I come to you? Amen. Jesus said, come to me. Yes. Come. He got out of his comfort zone and began to walk on the water. He's the only one that get up in heaven can brag to his buddies and brother. Amen. I'm the only one other than Jesus that walked on the water. Amen. He began to walk on the water toward Jesus. And while he was walking toward Jesus, he began to take his eyes off of Jesus. Started looking at the blistering storm and listen to the wind. Amen. When he started looking at the storm and listening to the wind, the Bible said he began to sink. Yes. And once he began to sink, the Lord Jesus reached out and grabbed him. If you know scripture and you read scripture, well, if you know anything about life, once you stand on the water, you sink. There's no beginning to sink. Can I get a witness here? If you, if you don't believe me, get you a boat and go out there in the chicken market. Uh -huh. Step off that boat. Uh -huh. See what happens. You sink. You don't slowly begin to sink. You sink. The Bible says he began to sink. And as he was beginning to sink, he called out to Jesus to save him. Amen. When he called out to Jesus to save him, Jesus grabbed him. The Bible says, amen, and put him in the boat. And when Jesus got back in the boat, the Bible says this. Check it out for yourself. They were already on the other side. Amen. amen. You let Jesus in your life. Why are you going to the storm? He'll take you to the other side. Y'all don't hear me. He'll take you to the other side. What if you feel like he's molding you? If you feel 
like you're on the wheel and he's still moving in you, amen, know that God hand, you in God's hand. The, the songwriter says, amen, the potter looked out and saw a vessel. A vessel that had fell off the shelf by the wind and the rain. And the potter got the vessel and took the vessel back, amen, to his shop. There was cracks in the vessels. Yeah. Amen. There are cracks in our lives. Yes, but the potter took the, 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 the vessel and, and, he, and he put a little glare on it. Amen. And put it back into the furnace. Uh -huh. Do you know sometimes we got to go back into the furnace? Yes, yes, sometimes our life has to be heated up again. Yes. Amen. And when he heated the vessel back up after, after making sure all the cracks were filled uh -huh. with various stuff. Amen. It took that vessel back out of the furnace. The vessel was shining as brand new. That vessel was trying to go. I was cracked. Not good for heaven. And wasn't good to die. And he put me back into the furnace. And when he put me back in the furnace, I came back out ready to serve the Lord. If you will. My brothers and sisters. If you're willing for the Lord to use you, you got to allow him to put you back in the furnace. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. When he put you back in the furnace, yeah. you come out, amen. You come out pure yeah. gold. Yeah. He'll fix all the cracks in your life. Yes. Yeah. He'll fix all yeah. the broken places yeah. in your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This is what Al Green says. Who can mend a broken heart? Okay. Who can stop the sun from shining? Yeah. Brother Green's now preaching today. Now, probably. Brother Green probably got a different message today than he had back then when he was on the R&B stage. Yeah. He know now that only God can put your yeah. life back in God. Yeah. He know now that God can feel right. your heart. Yeah. He know now that only God can stop the sun from shining. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Because he's God. Yeah. And God all by himself. Yeah. There's another song that says if if you see me and I ain't walking right, amen, God ain't through with me yet. If you see me, you see me cussing somebody out, God ain't through with me yet. Amen, he's still working on me, amen. But when he get through with me, amen, I come through. That's pure gold. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen. We can stand to you here. Stand to you. To you. All right. If you're here today and you're desiring eternal life, yeah. when this world down here no longer can afford your home, you gotta you can have a home on high, an everlasting home that never faded away. Well, there's highly, highly, and never goodbye. Yeah. Well, all the saints of God will be singing the glory of God. If you're here today. You can come out of that. Come out of the Christian experience. But we pray that you come out of that. It's getting late in the evening. Yeah. Not as long as it used to be. That's right. If you don't know about your soul salvation, would you come out